We'll finish tonight by looking at a superb archive film we've uncovered. The year is 1958 and at the General Motors Development Centre a curious concept car is about to see the light of day for the first time. Looking a bit like the Batmobile with its twin domed roof, these nice gentlemen in white coats are about to show an open mouthed world, the Firebird 3. Here's Bob McLean, the styling engineer of General Motors in the late 1950s to tell us all about it. Firebird 3 is the third in a series of experimental cars we have helped design here at General Motors Styling. Firebird 1 was a high performance vehicle and reflects the sweeping lines of a jet fighter. Firebird 2 was styled as a family car with additional engineering features. In designing Firebird 3, our job at styling is to integrate the new developments of research and engineering into a fully operational eye-appealing car. In 1958, they didn't have computer-aided design. The Firebird 3 was created with the use of cardboard cutouts. We start with a man, Oscar, and design the car around him. Basically, we need a passenger capsule and a power package. By putting a control stick here at Oscar's side, we could develop a new means of entry and give Oscar a semi-reclining seat to put him in the most comfortable driving position. How do they know Oscar the cardboard cutout is comfortable? He can't speak back. But it gets better. This concept has got two engines. There's a huge gas turbine engine behind the passengers. But to run the generator and the pumps efficiently and at constant speed, there's a small piston engine as well. So how did they work out the weight distribution? On a couple of kitchen scales. These were pioneering days, and if equipment borrowed from the canteen works, then why not? And here are stylists Norm and Stefan, who tell us they have a high-tech ace up their sleeves. String. We start with basic seam sketches, preliminary ideas that help us over the first formative stages of design. Then we translate these sketches into side views of the car, using these fluid lines of coloured yarn to work out the various combinations of curves. Oh, sorry, coloured yarn, is it? <laughs> Excuse me. But once the shape of the car is designed, it's time to reveal the cool gadgets to go inside the Firebird 3 concept. Remember, this is 1958, and some of these ideas would have been wildly before their time. Unicontrol is a new concept in steering, designed to simplify your driving task. This system uses specially developed electronic computers Oh, electronic computers, eh? As opposed to the clockwork ones, I suppose. Of course, it's easy to scoff, and it's fun too. But this concept was the first to use what we call today a joystick. It's easy to do today with true fly-by-wire technology, but back then, it was a right pain. But that's nothing compared to Autoguide, a system they worked on which makes the car actually drive itself. Two pickup coils mounted under the front of the car straddle a current carrying wire embedded in the highway. I don't know if I would trust being driven along a road by a wire under the road, but in theory it's a clever idea. But the Firebird 3 of 1958 was packed with other gadgets which were ahead of their time, such as an advanced air and oil suspension system, brake drums combined with the wheels, and anti-skid devices. I've never seen so many white coats this side of an ice cream man convention. Were they worried a bit of pullover fluff would jam their precious autoglide system? But many hands make light work, and as the finished concept car makes its way to the Arizona desert proving ground, the search is on to find a suitable test driver. What's that you're saying, dear viewer? You'd like to volunteer? Be my guest. First of all, you'll need to squeeze the so-called sonic key, and the door opens. The sonic key is also needed to start the engines. First, the little accessory motor at the front, then the huge gas turbine beauty behind. Ah, you're learning fast. A quick check of the brake flaps. Then remember how to use the new controller. That's right, you revolve the controller to go into drive, then it's a push forward to go forwards. It's all a bit strange, isn't it? As you just need to sneeze or a passenger to jerk your hand and you'll be all over the place. But you never know, this joystick system could replace steering wheels one day. 
Of course, if you want a rest from all this stressful driving, simply set the cruise speed and release the stick. But this is no simple cruise control. Your car is now steering following the wires in the road. Wow, this really is the future. Your future, brought closer today by the Firebird. But of course, this is all in General Motors' past now. And next week, we'll be taking a look at a whole host of amazing modern-day concepts from the world's biggest automotive company. See you then.